Some Minnesotans should be able to get a third dose of the COVID vaccine as soon as this weekend. The CDC director gave final approval late this afternoon. The agency says this will impact about 2.7% of the population. And as Jennifer Merrily found out, the health department estimates about 115,000 Minnesotans will be eligible. The latest data says a third dose of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine could help protect a vulnerable portion of our population. People who have a compromised immune system may not develop a good immune response to the first two doses of COVID-19 vaccine so that a third dose may help improve their protection. Experts say immunocompromised individuals are at greater risk for becoming severely sick, to experience lower vaccine effectiveness, and to have breakthrough infections. The FDA approved the emergency use authorization on Thursday. The state health department says it will share guidance with providers on which Minnesotans can get the additional shot. There are plenty of vaccine doses already here in the state to vaccinate, uh, give third doses to this er eligible population. But health leaders warn others against attempting to get a third dose right now, saying it hasn't been studied enough for healthy individuals who developed antibodies. The idea if, if two is good, three is better, um, it is not necessarily true. Before booster doses for the general public would be recommended, we need to have clear data um, for those recommendations. They do encourage people who have not gotten vaccinated to get the shot, saying this has become a pandemic of the unvaccinated. The more people who are vaccinated, the more protection we'll have in our communities to help those who are not able to be vaccinated or who have conditions that mean they may not res respond as well to the vaccine. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. The CDC panel recommends a third dose for transplant patients, those treated for tumors, cancer of the blood, anyone with diseases and damage to the immune system, or some patients with HIV, among a few others.